Hey guys, it's Susie. If I've never met you, I am an education technology coach, I guess you'd say from afar. And uh, here today I'm talking about a video that Sweet Mari, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but Sweet Mari has been requesting, requesting, requesting. And I just didn't feel equipped to do it because again, I'm working off of a free account most of the time. I was waiting on a, uh, hopefully a paid account. Didn't happen. So anyway, moving on. Um, and so I finally got to film some stuff about badges this morning. Badges are a passion of mine. The next clip you're going to see is actually a video I recorded a little bit, a little while ago, but the rest of the video is updated. So if you're one of my subscribers, then you might recognize the second clip. If you're not, you're like, Susie, how do I subscribe? It's suzylolly.com slash subscribe. And one of the choices I'll let you make on there is motivation ideas. Motivation ideas is gamification. And so you're going to be able to see uh, that whole series, which includes just the brief clip that I showed next. It's part of a 15 minute video. The next building block are badges. Now, if I have any Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts, I don't know if it's two, three fingers. You can tell I was a brownie for maybe like one day, so I really don't know. But if you've ever been in some kind of scouting activity, then you know that you earn badges. Here's the deal. When you're in Scouts, they don't just give you a badge for existing like, a, you're a Scout badge. It's the same with classes. They're not just gold stars. What they are are visual representations of skills that have actually been accomplished or non-graded achievements. They're pieces of a bigger assignment or goal. So the phrase I always say is, you may have kids who never will make an A in your math class. If you're just telling the truth, staying in the church like we were talking about, there's some kids that are just not going to be A students in math. That doesn't mean that they haven't learned anything the whole year. They may not know about fraction and decimal equivalency, but maybe they know what a fraction is. They know how to work with fractions. They could earn a badge for that little piece of what they do know, and it's displayed prominently to say, yes, I do know a skill. Even if my grade never shows that I've made an A in the class, I know skills, and they're leading me toward a bigger goal, which is mastery of math. So I'm going to teach you throughout this blog and through videos that I'm creating different ways to make badges, implement badges, tips for keeping badges relevant. So stay tuned. So later in the video, I'm going to talk to you about a tool called Badger that works right in Canvas to build badges. And you can definitely use that badge maker. Let me just show you a couple other options. One of them is just the Office Suite. I'm in PowerPoint right now, but the same thing would work in Word. You're just going to go up to Insert and Shapes and pick one if you want a round badge or a square badge. And then just this one tip, if you'll hold down the Shift key while you pull, while you drag, if I can get it to work. <laughs> I'm doing this with no mouse, then you can make a perfectly round circle or perfectly square square, whatever it is you want to do. And then you can use that, you know, along with icons. There are actually icons built right into Office now, and it's insert and then the little ducky and leaf. And you have all kinds of icons. If you're giving a kid a badge for some kind of a game achievement, then you can do that. Drag that on top, make it big. So you can put words and text boxes and whatever. I'm not going to teach you how to make shapes. <laughs> I think y'all can handle that. Um, but anyway, I wanted you to know that icons are built into the office suite now. The second place that you could make badges, and a place that I love to use them, let me make sure I pull up the right uh, OneNote here. I'm using OneNote for Windows 10 because it constantly stays updated. It's the newest version. And so if you are running an office machine, I recommend it. It's, it comes with the office suite. You can download it from your Office 365 account, which again, Office 365 is free for teachers. Um, and then on the insert menu, you will see stickers. And if you want to use these as badges, then some of them are customizable. If you look for the ones that have a pencil on them, then you can write whatever you want to do on those. So there's some really cute ones. Um, I love office drama, if I can find that one, yes. <laughs> My feature was cut, but you can, always, you can do whatever. Um, and you can customize these to make them very badge worthy. And then you could just snip those and you know, save them somewhere in a, badge, um, in a badge folder and use them for later. I have a bunch of badges that I made earlier in life, and so I'll just show you just to get an idea of what some badges could look like. Give me just a second on that. So these are just some badges I've had from times past, but you can see, and I designed these actually in a tool that is now a paid tool, so I won't recommend it. Um, but you can design badges anywhere, including, I'm gonna show you how to design them in Badger in one of the next clips. So we've created badges that look a certain way, but now we need to put them in a place where they can be auto-issued that connects to Canvas. So that place is called Badger, without an E. People love to, <laughs> I guess, have something they can copyright. So it's badger.com or badger.io. It's both ways, which is why I didn't show you the, um, the title of it up there, okay? Badger.io or badger.com. 
And when you get there, the first thing you're going to have to do is, is create an issuer. Y'all, I don't know the why behind this, but it's, um, I don't have a paid account, so it's just a personal issuer. I'm going to click right up here. Um, I can add an image to it if I want to. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I'm just going to call this um, Lolly's Badges. It's going to ask me to put in a URL, website, a contact email address, and a description. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to come down here and create, and I'll tune back in with you in just a minute. And once you create that issuer, you can um, create a badge as well. I just like to upload one that I already have. Again, we talked about ways that you can build that, but you, there also is a badge designer here. If you want to do that, let's play with that one. Why not? Well, let's play with that <laughs> while you're watching me. I'm going to call this one uh, the Great Style Badge because it has a hanger in the middle of it. You can pick your shape. You want it to look like that one's just as cute as it can be, but you can come over here and customize, y'all. There's so many things. Again, I'm about complete, not cute. And so I'm going to call this Great Style. That is never a badge I would give in Canvas, but if I were going to, that's what I can do. But you see that I can customize the style, the shape, the icon that goes in it. You can search icon if you wanted to search something that... Um, Maybe the stop sign, you could say, your discussion answer made me stop in my tracks or whatever. You could just have so much fun with that. And I'm going to say, this person has great style in their discussion, in their writing. Okay. Display it, blah, blah, blah. It says um, you, have to, you have to fill in one of these um, fields, it says. So I can just take that same stuff and post it. This is really not stuff you need to watch me do. I just wanted you to see how you set it up at first. Alignment, tags, blah, 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 expiration date. Then I'm going to create the badge. And I would just keep on going until I have several badges. I just happen to have, I've already created multiple issuers. And so this one's Lolly's American Road Trip. And I have all kinds of badges here that I give out when I teach people how to use badges. I have badges about badging. And so um, I have a couple issuers now. And these were badges that I built elsewhere and imported. So you come to badger.io, you set up an account, you set up an issuer, you get your badges loaded into it, and then our next stop is how to do something with those in Canvas. Badges are attached to module completion when you use them in um, Canvas. And so you want to make sure you jump into a course where you have modules. You guys have heard me preach it over and over again that modules are the key to Canvas. They're the organization. They're the you know, they help kids know where to go, blah, blah, blah. You can watch a whole video on that. Or I think maybe I've even done two or three videos on that. That's how passionate I am. But you want to open a course if you're playing along where you have modules. In that course, you're going to go down to the word settings. And you're going to try to add an app, okay? So you're going to search for Badger, okay? And then it gives you lots of choices. I'm picking Badger US. I don't have a paid account, which is Badger Pathways. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click add app. And when I do, it's going to ask me for my consumer key and shared secret. So let me pause, find that, show you where that is in Badger. Okay, so to get your Canvas and Badger talking to each other, once you've got your badges loaded, and you can always load badges later. You don't have to load them all ahead of time. You're just going to click your little face right here and where it says app integrations. You're going to choose Canvas LTI, and it'll give you the information you need to paste into Canvas. I don't want y'all to see mine on a public video, but it'll give you, literally, it'll say Consumer Key Shared Secret. You paste those in here, and you click Add App. So I'm going to do that behind the scenes. Okay, so once you paste all that in, you're going to see a new option over here on um, the sidebar called Badges. And when I click it, Okay, and I had to add a specific issuer. That's where I got my uh, shared secret from. So my, um, my American Road Trip, my badges are in here. It's going to ask me which badge I want to award for each module. So the course I'm in called Pretend Course, here are the modules that are currently in it. And then over here to the right, I can drop down and say, this is the module I want them to get if they complete the module. And again, if you watch my modules video about uh, requirements, and I think it was called More About Modules, about requirements and prerequisites and all that, then you tell the module what complete means, and then Badger just is in charge of awarding the badge, okay? You can also come down here to the bottom and change your issuer. Like, I'm using my American Road Trip, but if I wanted to use that one that just said Lolly's Badges, I can use that as well. Kids will see them when they're in modules. 
and they um, get to the end of the module, it'll say something like submit badge evidence. And you can check the box. I'm the teacher. I can check the box and say evidence is required or no. I can just give them credit because they finished the module. And that's how your kiddos get their badges. If you've been following for a while, you know I don't ever want to show a course that has real students in it. I have some paid accounts, but I have to do a lot for my free account. So I want to give courtesy or give credit to the people at Humboldt State University for this guide that tells you where kids will find the badges after you award them, okay? So after they earn them from their modules, you've assigned them, and then they have the ability to earn them through completing modules. They'll go to Canvas, click on their account, which is usually their little face or some symbol they've put, go to Profile, and then click My Badges, and then that's where they should see all the badges you've awarded. So let me know. Leave me a comment if that works, doesn't. You know, I've done this before, but I don't have kids right now in there, so just keep me posted. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you wanna gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.